God's doing something great, and I want to share something with you very quickly. All right, take your seats. Open your Bibles to the book of uh, Revelation chapter 12. I mean, Revelation chapter 5. Revelation 5, I want to show you something. The 12th verse. Well, before that it said, he called people from every tribe and tongue and every nation. That means everything God wants to do is for every person on the earth. And God is big. How many know God is big? How many know God is big? He's big. He's so huge. We can't even imagine how, how, how amazingly big he is and the big things he wants to do. The nature of God is available to every person if they can understand what it is he wants. Manifested, and I want to tell you it's not happening. But there, it's available. Someone say there's a place available for me. There's a great place available for me. Say it. There's a great place available for me. Yeah. And Jesus was given something here. We see in Revelation chapter 5 that was so amazing, but it wasn't for him. Why? Because he already had it. <laughs> How many know Jesus is God? <laughs> How many know the Holy Spirit is God? I mean, the Father is God. Yeah. And our job in life is to become more like Him. But guess what? When that happens, things begin to change in our circumstances, not just in our, what we call our spiritual life. Things begin to happen in our natural life. And this is the problem. Let me tell you what Jesus received. Look at this. Then I looked and I heard the voice of many angels around the throne and the living creatures and the elders. And the number of them was countless. Let me get past that because it's, it's not relevant. Here it is. Worthy is the lamb who was slain to receive, to receive power, number one. What was number two? Riches. <laughs> power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor, glory, and blessing. And then it went on to talk about how the earth and everyone under the earth and under the sea and all that are in them heard, I heard saying, blessing and honor and glory and power be to him who sits on the throne and to the Lamb forever and ever. Then the four living creatures said amen to all of that. Blessed is he who lives forever and ever. But guess what? Jesus went ahead of us so that we can have what he received. As God, did he need to have all these things? He already had them. Someone say he already had them. So who are they for? Who are they for? Hit yourself. See, if you never locate yourself in the plan of action that God has, you'll never have it. And God will look at you, loving you, feeling compassion for you, but you'll never receive and manifest the things that he's ordained. <laughs> and that happens all over. Let's lift our hands and pray for us. Uh, pray for ourselves. Lift your hands and let's pray for ourselves right now. Pray for yourself right now. We can pray for the nation, we can pray for the people, we can pray for the society and all of that, and the government and all that. But people are about their own agendas and many wicked things people are doing. I want to tell you the answer to every problem that's going on in our world is for us to get blessed ourselves. Lift your hands and pray for yourself right now. See, I, I feel that I can feel the resistance from the devil. The devil doesn't want you to get this. 
Why? Because when you break through in your mindset and your spirit and your life, there's nothing that can be restrained from you. What? Those seven things, power and riches and wisdom and strength and then glory, honor and blessing. For what? For the purpose of us having dominion, taking dominion. Like it said, like, like God, the Lord said in Genesis 1.26, I, I made you after my own, own image and after my own likeness. And I want you to have dominion over the entire earth. All the four and twenty elders, the leaders, this was King David, I would imagine. Moses, I would imagine. Abraham, I believe, were three of them. And there are 21 others. So if we were to look at the great men from the Bible, we probably, you know, men that live, maybe there was Enoch, maybe there was Elijah. Okay? Just a, a, you know, the scripture doesn't say exactly who the 24 elders are, but they were humans who lived on the earth and now are with the Lord. They're not angels. Because the angels were there, it said, there were 10,000 times 10,000. Well, that's, that's like 100 million. I don't know. That's just a few because there are more angels than that. So they were spoken of in a different category. So these were four leaders, kingdom leaders. And they all bowed down and said, Amen. But guess what? God himself didn't need all of these things. He already has them. Jesus already has all of them. So who were they for? For me. I don't even want to point to you because you have to locate yourself. They're for me. To manifest what? Power. People think power, the only power is in the government. <laughs> No, the power is supposed to be in you. Lift your hands. Come on, you, y'all, y'all. Lift your hands. Do you understand me? Are you understanding me? If not, then you have a problem. English is the main language on earth. And the queen was your friend, supposedly. I don't know. I wasn't here. And I was in the place in Mount Kenya where she stayed. I stayed there in that room where Queen Elizabeth II was in 1945. I was there. I have some photographs of the place. So. But I don't know about all that. But you say, oh, I have to speak in my language. Too much of your language. Be a wor become a world citizen because every country on earth, they speak English. More than any other language, English is spoken. Hello? If you only speak your own language, you can only deal with your own tribe. That's only a few people. <laughs> if you only speak Swahili, you only can work in three countries. Eh? Tanzania, Kenya, and what's the other one? Congo. I think they understand a little bit. Yeah, that's it. But there's 200 other countries of the world. Lift your hands and say, Lord, I'm going to get in touch with your power. I'm going to get in touch with your riches. I'm going to get in touch with your wisdom. I'm going to get in touch with your blessing, your glory, honor, and strength because it's for me. I'm not supposed to live the way that I see everybody living. Turn to Isaiah very quickly, just a minute here. Isaiah 11. Isaiah 11. Isaiah 11, verse 2. It says, The Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him. This matches Revelation 5.12. The spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. His delight is in the law of the Lord. There it is again, the amen to that. We, de we delight in the spirit of wisdom, understanding, knowledge, counsel, might, and the fear of the Lord. Amen. Attributes of the Holy Ghost. And he said he'll go and he'll not... Judge by what he sees, but he'll be going by what's right. Righteousness is inside of a person. And when it's in you, you can manifest all things. Father, thank you for your word. Everything can be manifested through you and in your life. There's no limitation on you unless what, except for the, the limitations you allow for yourself. 
There's nothing else that can limit you. Lift your hands. Let's pray right now. Porantala. Faratelaba. Can you play something? Are you guys still there? Can you do a little something? I want us to pray for a minute. Limitations. You know, I want to speak very softly, very soft. I want to speak the word and let it work where it's going to work. Because too many times preachers are like shouting at people, you know, pray, breakthroughs coming, yeah. And then you look at the lives of people and you don't see it. Why? Because they don't understand what's in here. This book, what's in here is what will change your world. You have your Bible, hold it up close to your heart. If you have your phone, <laughs> maybe you have the Bible software in your phone, it's okay. They just say, I, I, I'm going to get into what this says. When the devil came to Jesus, Jesus didn't say anything to the devil except it is written. And the devil had to flee. The power of the word of God will cause everything good to manifest for you. Thank you, Lord. Father, I pray that you're going to cause people to be an expression of your power and your glory and your grace, your wisdom, your power, your riches, your wealth and your treasures. And Father, do it in us. Thank you that you're doing it in my life. I pray that it will also happen for many other people. Because the days are ticking away. And I'll tell you, the purpose of church is to become a place of training for reigning. A place where you get trained to be raised up to be a great person. A powerful person. Filled with power. Filled with wisdom. Filled with knowledge. Filled with understanding. And Hosea 4, 6 said, the just will be delivered through knowledge. People are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. The more you know, the more you can do. God's going to do it in our day. Just pray in the Holy Ghost right now. Pray in the Holy Ghost. God's going to do it in us to make his habitation place in us. When you're losing, the devil is laughing at you. <laughs> and even other people too. But God shakes his head and says, what's up with this? Did, did I plan it to be like this on the earth? Everybody's struggling, living in poverty, living in all kinds of uh, situations and evil oppressions. No, 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 no. We are the kings and priests of the Most High God. Don't ever forget it. We're made to be royalty. You, as a son of God, as a daughter of God, are made to be a, a royal person. And no royal person can live a losing life. The royalty is the, is the ruler. And they're also very rich. Can you say amen? Say it with me, Lord. I say amen to this. Power, riches, wisdom, knowledge, understanding, and wisdom will produce the life that God wants you to have. Amen. Stand on your feet right now for a minute. Let's pray together. Father, I thank you for what you're saying. Lord, I, I thank you, Lord, for this book. I, God had me write a very great book on success and uh, keys to successful living. And uh, they'll be available. Let me, let me give you my website. If you'd like to check out what we're doing online is thomasmanton.com. T-H-O-M-A-S-M-A-N-T-O-N.com. And you can go to our social media pages and... I'm doing a lot of online training to help people understand 
how great God wants you to be. Success is the order of the day. Lift your hands and say, Lord, I'm going to be very successful. Amen. Isaiah 48, 17 said, I am the Lord your God who teaches you how to profit and lead you in the way you should go. Your life should be a walking miracle of success and increase and abundance. And this is the mind of God for us today. In Jesus' name. Good night. brethren in psalms 119 105 the bible says your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path truly god has sent prophet dr thomas manton the fourth to proclaim and declare his word of abundance and prosperity prophetically unto the nations thus brothers and sisters in christ i urge you just as the bible says in matthew 10 41 whoever welcomes a prophet as a prophet, will receive a prophet reward. Let us welcome and embrace the prophet of God by supporting his ministry. You can sow a seed, you can send your love offering, you can support or partner in the ministry program using the details displayed on your screen. For when the prophet of God decrees a blessing upon you, indeed, you shall be blessed.